economy over the last several years, but researchers at Florida Gulf Coast University are now trying to take the bad and spin it into something positive, useful in the future. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tonight with the story. It's not a job for the faint of heart. The smell of red tide along our coastline is enough to send most people in the other direction. But researchers from Florida Gulf Coast University and Moat Marine Aquarium gathered up dead fish to see if they could make something good come out of this. Red tide can kill the fish. As the fish decay, they release the nutrients back in the water that can feed back into red tide. Fish kills only making the algae worse, so they started looking into what would happen if you quickly remove the dead fish. What we uh, found was that fish are, in fact, releasing a lot of nutrients. So removal ensures the fish kills aren't fueling algal growth. But once you remove them, is there something else you can do with the tons of dead fish other than sending them to a landfill? We found that we can compost the fish and remove the red tide toxins from them and they look like they can be a good fertilizer source. A fertilizer source that's natural. So if it ends up back in the Gulf water down the road, that's where it came from in the first place. But of course, these are only things that can be done if the economic impacts are worth the work. So they did an economic study too. For Lee County and Collier County, when red tide was significant, greater than 100,000 cells per liter, which is when fish start dying, that it had an economic impact of $19 million per month in 2018 and 2019. Millions of dollars in tourism down the drain, but if the dead fish cleanup is less than the loss, then it's worth it. I don't think it's going to cost $19 million, though. I think it's... Uh, I think it's got a lot of promise to move forward and look at the scale up costs. Parson says next steps are to bring different stakeholders to the table to see if this can be an option moving forward. It's an optimistic approach. It's doing something about red tide, which I think is good. McKenna King, ABC Action News.